Grab a hip belt and try squatting like this. Hip belt squats are great for your home gym. They can help you avoid the spinal compression you might get from back squats. And they're perfect if you're looking for a new training challenge. Here's Coach Gareth Sapstead to show you seven ways to do them. For this standard Olympic plate variation, stand on two benches or boxes so that you can get low enough. But be warned, you'll need a hip belt with a longer chain so that the plates don't smack you in the junk. Kettlebells allow you to go even deeper. The only downside, you may not be able to go heavy enough with the kettlebells at your gym. For beginners though, this version is a great place to start. Try using a T-bell attachment like this to allow you to go heavier. Use taller steps and a longer chain so that the plates don't hit your legs. Use the banded hip belt squat for high reps to really set your legs on fire. If you need a good challenge at the end of a leg day, do as many reps as you can, then grab a dowel to knock out a few more. This is a killer drop set. There are three ways to do hip belt squats with a landmine. For the back facing variation, use smaller plates so that you can get lower at the bottom of the movement. To use larger plates, just add a deficit by standing on boxes or steps. For the front facing variation, use more of a forward lean and keep the tension on the quads by not locking out at the top. Use a barbell collar to hold the chain in place. Here's what not to do. Avoid this barbell variation where the entire bar lifts off the floor. It's highly unstable, making it difficult to get the tension on the right muscles. Get the details on all of these exercises over at tnation.com. If you enjoyed this information, hit that like button to let us know. Plus, if you never want to miss another T Nation video again, hit subscribe and that little notification bell right next to it.